Okay, geometry, 11-5, area of similar figures. So I've got rectangle ABCD, and I've got rectangle EFGH. I've got the area of one, and then I have the sides of the other two. Now, if they are similar, those sides are going to be equal to my scale factor. So the method I'm going to use to find the other area is a formula, and you use it just like this. You're going to find the area of ABCD over the area of EFGH and to find our scale factor we're going to use our given sides which is AB and our given side of EF and we are going to square them. That formula will allow us to find the missing area of EFGH. So now let's just plug in things that we know. The area of ABCD is 32. The area of EFGH, we do not know. We do know that AB is 8. And we also know that EF is 5. So cleaning this up, oh, we've got to put my square there. Cleaning this up, we've got 32 over x equals 64 over 25. So that gives me 64x, <coughs> excuse me, and then I'm going to multiply 32 times 25. times 25. There we go. Thirty-two times twenty-five, that's going to give me eight hundred. Then I divide both sides by sixty-four. And that gives me an area of punch that in. That's twelve and a half or twelve point five square feet. Okay, so just substituting into the formula, area of the first one over area of the second one equals the scale factor of the sides that are given. Now, we're going to do a problem where uh, we're going to have to find the scale factor and we're given both of the areas. So it looks just a little bit different but uses the same formula. So let's move on to that one. Okay, so just a few minutes, we should be able to finish this out. Now, we don't know the scale factor because we don't know AB. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the area of ABCD, which is 54, over the area of EFGH, just like we did before, equals 150. And because we don't know the scale factor, I'm just going to leave it as scale factor squared, or I represent it with S. I think the book represents it with K, but um, I like S squared personally. And so looking at 54 and 150, gosh, there's no there's no perfect square. 54 is not a perfect square. 150 is not a perfect square. So look to see if you can reduce your fraction. In this case, it appears we can reduce it by sixes. And so 54 divided by six is going to be nine. And 150 divided by six is going to be 25. So now I've got some perfect squares when I square root both sides. That leaves me a scale factor of 3 fifths. So that's going to be the first part of my answer. This will be a two-part problem because now they're going to want us to solve for x. Since my sides are scale factors, I'm going to take my unknown side compared to my known side, and I'm going to set that equal to the scale factor. Again, I'm going to cross multiply. That gives me 5x equals 30, dividing both sides by 5, giving me a missing side of 6. And that's going to be 6 meters. Okay, so missing side is 6 meters, scale factor is 3 fifths. 
All right. So yesterday's was 15 minutes, and so I'll follow it up with just a short one. This one's a little over five minutes. And that is Chapter 11, Section 5.